honestly, this lineup was so attention grabbing for me that I had to just sit down and film because there's so many people I want to talk about here. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today I'm honestly just popping on here to do a candid video about Beyond Wonderland SoCal 2024. Usually I have like a script and ideas and all this stuff written down. We are raw dogging it today. <laughs> I have nothing written down. I just saw this lineup and I was like, wow. I guys, this might be the first SoCal rave I send it to. Okay. I'm there's like a 90% chance that I'm gonna come for Beyond Wonderland, which is so exciting. So hi friends, editing Emma here. So we have an update for you guys, but if you couldn't guess already, I am confirmed to go to Beyond Wonderland. This is my first SoCal rave, like California festival, anything. I have obviously like been in this space for such a long time and heard so many stories from you guys and you have always recommended Beyond Wonderland to me as like one of the best ones to come out there for. So I am going, I am going with Beatbox. I work for Beatbox Beverages um, and we have a, a really big activation there. Um, so I'm gonna be helping out with the team. I'm the community manager. So anything that we do with like our online communities, our super fans, festival fans, stuff like that. Like I manage that. I manage our ambassador program. So I'm going to be going out to Beyond Wonderland. We're going to be doing some meetups and other fun things. So we will definitely have a meetup and like stuff that we're working on that's really fun like both days. So I will see you at Beyond Wonderland, guys. Give me all the tips. Comment below. Give me all the tips. Let me know what I need to know. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my plans and why that might happen and then honestly just give you recommendations and talk about who stood out to me on this lineup um, outfit ideas like literally whatever pops into my head today so with that being said um, I do have tickets on sale I'm an affiliate with Insomniac so if you guys want to buy tickets I really appreciate you using my links I will link it down below and hopefully I'll see you there uh, okay so first and foremost plans around this so I had beyond on my radar last year and actually like wanted to send it last minute with Beatbox because um, I work full time for Beatbox Beverages and we are a sponsor of the event. Um, but I was pregnant last year and it was going to be too much to coordinate. So this year um, we are sponsoring it again and there might be the opportunity to, for me to go through work. Again, it will be my first event in California in SoCal at the Nas Center like I for me I'm just like I need to go see it and experience it like so many of you guys have found me through my EDC content so many of you live in California and I've just heard like a million and one things about the Nas Center and I just want to like see it for myself and vlog it and tell you guys what I think about like raving on the west coast and all of that so this one in particular like when I used to mention insomniac festivals so many people would say do beyond wonderland like if you're going to pick one of them go to this one the theme is really cool stages are awesome it's a good time of year to go so this was always high up on my list but then like to seal in the deal the lineup dropped and you know sometimes insomniac lineups look the same like let's call it what it is a lot of the um, artists are signed on for like multiple deals of like doing multiple festivals so you see a lot of the same names and yes of course there are big names I seen I've seen before but there were a bunch of people on here who I don't typically see and some really good back-to-backs that I was like yes this is like refreshing I'm pumped I'm excited about it I want to talk about it um, and then on top of that since this is like an Alice in Wonderland like mad hatter party theme I just think it'll be really cool to like dress up so I have this one idea I think I shared it in a video on my Instagram or TikTok last year but I have this one outfit from Devil Walking I think is the company it's like this romper that kind of gives like Queen of Hearts vibes that I would really want to wear to this um, and then maybe just like go with an all black like techno vibe because there's a lot of really good techno on the lineup this year so I don't know I'm starting to like plan outfits and like think about things but I feel like if you guys are going, you can really play into this Alice in Wonderland theme and go like full-blown rave. People definitely like go all out and it's um it's definitely something you can dress up for, which is exciting. So <clears throat> I do really like that there is like a very in intricate theme to dress up as. It makes it easier almost to like plan your outfits. So that's kind of the deal. Um, it is a two-day festival. Like I'm coming from New Jersey, so it would be a long trip for me. So I'm probably aiming to go from like Thursday to Sunday um, just to like fly in early. And then I know that this area like isn't the best. So if you guys are looking for travel and accommodations, they do have recommended hotels. They do have shuttles. I'm a big fan of just going with the options that they offer like the hosted hotels that are on the shuttle line because that way you don't have to deal with like trying to get an uber 
or drive and park in that area. So um, if I go, I definitely will be getting a hotel that's probably like 45 minutes to an hour away depending and then doing some sort of like bus situation so that's my game plan right now all right let's dive into this lineup so I'm not going to go through every single artist I'm going to again say the names that like stood out to me so right off the top nine times nine is a really incredible techno act so again the techno on this lineup is a massive selling point for me and I haven't seen nine times nine a track back to back Derek Carter is pretty insane like a tracks talent as a DJ and producer is fucking nuts and then Derek Carter like this amazing house music combination is gonna be pretty legendary so I feel like that will be sick then you have Afrojack back-to-back rehab I feel like that'll just be really fun I don't really typically like see either of them but like my OG nostalgia EDM self <laughs> would be down for that uh same with Alesso I just like love Alesso as a producer I think he's absolutely f- fantastic and he's a little bit more on the progressive side of things so I do really enjoy Alesso then we have a Luna back-to-back Kaylina Zanders I fucking love Kaylina Zanders she is an incredible vocalist like absolute powerhouse and Aluna is so talented as well so these two women coming together is gonna be fire uh definitely more on the dancey like house side of things uh who else on here Andrew Rael giving me like trance throwback vibes definitely down for that Andy C for some drum and bass and Fisa Let Yago another amazing techno act I would be so freaking down for um Betty Manassi honestly would be sick. Biscuits is one of my favorite house artists. Um, He killed it at EDC Vegas when I saw him like a little bit more on the tech house side of things but love him. Black V-neck as well for tech house artists. They're incredible. Blossom is one of my favorite acts to see. She's like fun because she mixes it up. She does some bass house. She throws in some drum and bass like it's really fun. High energy. It's a good time and I want to go and support her. Uh, Calusa was on my artist to watch in 2024 list so I was really excited to see their name on here Um, I feel like they're starting to like grow and become more more well known in the house music scene so it would be my first time seeing them Chris Lorenzo made me scream out loud like he's not on that many lineups I don't know why he doesn't get booked as often so seeing him get booked I was like hell yes I love him he his set at Okeechobee I took my friend Lexi who was like a bass head and she I think that set converted her to being a house (laughs) fan like she was like this is insane it's just so like bouncy and fun and he threw in like all different kinds of like sub genres of house music into his sets and like when I say like I was popping my booty the entire time like it was like he just went off in his Okeechobee set. It was kind of like no breaks, just like he went all in. Um, and he also has a project with Chris Lake, if you guys don't know, called Anti Up. And that's like one of my favorite, like I love every single track that they've ever come out with. And that's saying a lot. Like I've never disliked a track. So I get to hear Anti Up tracks when he plays a set because he throws them in. So yeah, can't say enough amazing things. That was a huge selling point for me. Um, I feel like Crank Dat has been talked about a lot lately on the bass and like dubstep side of things so I could be persuaded to go see Cranked At. Uh, Crystal Skies I don't think I've ever seen Crystal Skies and if I want that like Ophelia melodic bass you know feeling then maybe I'll go see Crystal Skies. Same with Dabin. Uh, Diesel why not let's go fucking throw it down with Shaq that would be great uh Dylan Francis back-to-back Valentino Khan I feel like is a solid selection no matter what like the two of them coming together they just played EDC Orlando together um is just so fun and I love Dylan Francis's visuals like his entire experience live is the best so very down for that um this was the one thing that when I saw this I was like whoever booked this is so fucking smart Eli Brown back to back Lily Palmer are you kidding me oh my god Lily Palmer is so fierce like such a fierce techno artist and Eli Brown I was just listening to his ARC music festival set this morning and my mind was freaking blown go listen to it it's on SoundCloud he's also in the techno realm but he kind of does like tech house as well like he's one of my favorite acts right now so the two of them together is going to be so fucking fire like that is a non-negotiable not missing that then this one Fatima Hajij Okay, there's two, probably more than that, but two female techno artists on here who are like hard techno. Like I cannot emphasize the word hard enough, like aggressive, almost hard dance, hard style techno.
play clips of them here. Fatima Hajij is one of those. It's like relentless, aggressive, heavy ass techno. <laughs> it's going to be so intense. So I was like, holy shit, I haven't really seen like Fatima's name in the United States that much. So that one was crazy to me. Um, Gareth Emery presents Decade just sounds beautiful. That's going to be like all of the trance vibes. Uh, I can always go see a Ghastly set. I'm always down for him. Uh, there's I, I don't recognize a lot of these names. Sorry, guys. Um, I Hate Models is another techno act that I'm really down for. Uh, Jay Wara, an amazing tech house artist. Jason Ross is also fantastic as well. Johns is another one. I would say Johns and Claws are two like more up-and-coming names on here that I recognize that I'd be down for um Joyride it's been too long since I've seen a Joyride set like Joyride also falls under that category of like just fucking fun high energy bass house like a great time every time then I would say Kill the Noise back-to-back Trivecta very excited I don't think I usually see them playing back-to-back like if anything I've seen Kill the Noise and Seven Lions go back-to-back so if you guys like again like they're in the Ophelia family they're more of like a melodic and future bass uh, but they also throw in some melodic dubstep as well so that together is gonna be really fucking fun same with Kyle Walker back-to-back Sosa Sosa is one of those house artists that I've been dying to see live and I also haven't seen his name on too many lineups so again I was like check brownie points another name not booked that often um so the two of them together Kyle Watson see this is what I mean you guys are probably watching like you might be a bass head watching this like these names you're saying mean nothing to me and I totally understand that (laughs) it just depends on your taste like right like we all have different tastes and like Kyle Watson is another one of those artists that I've listened to for a really long time in the house music realm that I love and I don't always see his name on a lineup so for me there just happened to be like a lot of acts that I love that they put into this lineup. And that's why I was like, shit, I have to go. <laughs> um, I would also say level up for bass music and dubstep. Maddion doing a DJ set. I think I slept on him for such a long time. I know he's such a talented producer, but I just really never took the opportunity to see him live. I think the last time I saw him was like 2017. And then at Project Glow last year, he was a headliner and I, it was my favorite set of the whole weekend. It was incredible. So I would love to go see Maddie on again. Um, Max Styler is one of my ha- favorite tech house artists right now. And I'm seeing him, him on Groove Cruise in three weeks. So I cannot fucking wait for that. <laughs> Dre is another one she was on my artist to watch in 2024 she's a really amazing up-and-coming house artist as well so I'm stoked to go see her uh you literally cannot go wrong with no no redemption like anytime Chami and Mala come together it's just like in your face stank face like base house future not not future base <laughs> future house like just fantastic producers we love it we love it when the Parisian DJs come together Odd Mob is another one you guys would love if you're in the house music realm he just had a huge release with um uh, did I say Omnom sorry Odd Mob (laughs) I don't know which name I said Odd Mob and Omnom okay they're back to back perfect they just came out with a huge single together called Losing Control um which was one of my favorite tracks of 2023 so both of them are would be on my must see list One True God my friend, again, Lexi, put me on to him and I was completely blown away. He is fantastic and I feel like not enough people talk about him and it's a little bit like darker of a sound, but also feel like I haven't seen him on many lineups or had a chance to see him. So I was so fucking excited to see his name on here. Make you mine, mine, mine. I think I missed Pickle when I first looked at this lineup. Pickle is on here. This lineup just keeps getting better and better. Okay, I'm just saying it. I just I think this lineup is fantastic. Pickle is so good. Okay, I don't know who Pickle is. This is an anonymous DJ who literally wears a pickle on his head. (laughs) But he's a really good house artist. And he has some like really fun remixes that I've enjoyed. So I would be down to go see Pickle. Uh, Rez, can't go wrong with Rez. And then Sarah Landry. Sarah is the other really hard techno artist I was talking about before just like pedal to the fucking metal aggressive heavy hard techno so down for it (laughs) 
Say My Nitty. I could be down for that too. That's Say My Name and Nitty Gritty's project together. Shada Castro is an up and coming techno artist I would love to see. I was going to say, I hope Side Piece is on here because Nitty Gritty is uh, playing. So yes, Side Piece is Nitty Gritty and Party Favor and it's their tech house project that you literally can't go wrong with. So fun, so dancey. Um, slander for all my like bass and like, I would say like if you're kind of like in the Illenium realm, you would love Slander or Seven Lines, like melodic bass, dubstep, those kinds of vibes. But then they hit you with the feels with all their like romantic cry bang songs you know what I mean <laughs> uh subtronics I still have not seen a full subtronic set I don't think because every time I've tried to see him his sets have been so packed so I could definitely be down to fully experience a subtronic set um and then I would say chain smokers are always fun who else Vinny Vici for some side trance vibes Walker and Royce back to back Vanessa like they go hand in hand amazing house artist Wax Motif you can never go wrong with him his sets are always fantastic and then Will Sparks I've been dying to see a Will Sparks set as well like I feel like he would just be an incredible um, act to see live and then Zed's dead at the end here always fun so again I had no rhyme or reason to this video I just want to talk about the sign up because I looked at it and I was like this is fantastic yes there's some core people like who you see play a lot of festivals and some big names that are obviously going to attract like a more mainstream crowd. But for me, there's so much good house and techno on here. <clears throat> so many good rising artists on here that I've been dying to see. And this is just like a beautiful combination of artists. So I'm so down for it. I really want to go see this. I think it'd be fantastic. So definitely leave me a comment down below if you guys plan on going to be on wonderland this year um and feel free to use my ticket link if you guys want to buy tickets through me um leave me tips if you guys have gone before let me know what i need to know before going to be on wonderland i really appreciate any feedback you can give me um and again give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one Fall into you.